eat at least 10 portions of fruit and a veg every day. That's what we're talking about now. And we're talking about it, if you see the front page of the Express here, because they say that if you eat those portions, that could cut the risk of death from heart attacks or strokes by almost half, OK? Nutritionist Nicole Berberian is here uh, this morning now to talk about that. And that really does spell it out. And when I, the more I think about this and the more I look at this, we have a bit of an artificial diet now, don't we? And this is simply setting the uh, the reset button, isn't it? There's nothing new. We will keep saying that we need lots of vegetables and fruit in our diet. This is just another one of those articles that brings it to yeah, the but front. But I think what's different about, about this, Nicole, is I agree with you. That means that with my whatever, potatoes, chips, corn, bacon, whatever it is, I will put something on the side. This is actually, I'm taking from this, completely change the balance now, completely look upon uh, stuff like this as the main intake throughout the day. Am I right with that? Absolutely. We're trying to get a shift to people to have a, a plant-based diet, which doesn't mean vegetarian. It just means lots of vegetables and fruits making up that same plate of food. This, this study's looked at a number. It's given the figure of, of seven. We've currently had five. There's no rush at the moment to change it because we're not actually even making that five a day at the moment. It's less than one in three that make that. Is there a danger then that if you move the goalposts, it's actually just going to make more and more people feel like it's unachievable and they're going to not even bother trying to achieve five? That's part of the reason why the five a day was set. It was 400 grams of fresh vegetables and fruit a day makes that five a day. 80 grams is a portion. That's where you get the five a day from. That's not the, the only amount you can have. If you want more, yes, absolutely. But that was a realistic target for people to go to. Do you to. achieve it? Do you eat that many? Of course I do, course and I probably do. eat more. And that was the other thing, that if you look at other countries, different cultures, they've got higher levels set for their government guidelines for the amount to have. And that's because their cultures just generally eat more of that well, Other countries have warmer weather, don't they? And those fruit and vegetables absolutely. are dropping off the trees. And absolutely. It's something that's but you see, us, you know, us living in a fast food society and always looking for the shortcut or the, or the cheap, uh, does it matter how you take it? For instance, um, there's a big move towards smoothies at the moment. Uh, is that not the easiest way to digest something like this? It doesn't work the same way when you put it into a smoothie. It does really? count. It does count towards your fibre day, Why but not? I would always say the whole vegetables, the whole fruit, it's all the chomping and the chewing that helps to keep you full, and that's really part of it. In practice, if you want to get your intake of these, these components up, the fruit and vegetables up, first of all, I'd say, Practically, don't count numbers because we don't eat numbers, we eat food. So, so make half your plate full of the vegetable salads and so, then have so your what, fruit what, what, as your What is this food. about? Is this about keeping us full and stopping us eating other things or is this about giving us the nutrition that is in fruit and vegetables? It's part of everything. If you've got lots of vegetables in your plate, Actually, energy, energy density comes down, you'll, you'll feel full, but you'll be eating less calories. That's part of it. Also, all of these vegetables and fruits have got the phytonutrients, the antioxidants, the fibres, the vitamins. So there's a multitude of factors that could be why we're seeing the reduction in disease from so these the, foods. So if you eat all of that, the idea is that you'll not really crave or you'll not have room for what we term to be the essentials, like pizza and burgers and things, um, not, not at the minute. Now, we've got Ricky and Simon from the Kaiser Chiefs, and they're going to be here after Morning. the break. And you guys, you will, you will lead, Simon, the rock and roll lifestyle, right? You guys are out there. A That's what you'll diet. do when you go on tour and whatever. What, what, when you're on tour, do you eat better or do you eat worse? Uh, it depends. Worse, generally, I think. We have crisps for tea, remember, that's, that's yeah. part of our song. But I, um, I get my seven a day. Do you? Does the olive in a martini count as one yes, a day? Yes, absolutely. The one olive? The one olive. Oh, okay, I, get, I have lemon days. energy in tea as well. Uh, so, tiny bits, not quite what we're heading for. I'm doing for. my bit, okay, sorry. But are you guys, you guys aware of what you eat? I mean, because I suppose you, you're there, you're in showbiz. I mean, I suppose you've got to perform um, not only as artists, but like athletes as well, because it's probably, <laughs> well, it's quite grueling. You've got to turn up, you've got to do what, you, what you've got to do. Are you good to your bodies? Um, we get looked after pretty well, because when we don't perform, we don't perform. So, yeah, we do get looked after. Yeah. Pretty What's well. your favourite fruit or a vegetable, if I was to put you on the What's spot? Favourite fruit? Uh, uh, apple. I, I like an apple. I like an apple. We're like quite simple folk. Yeah. yeah. An apple. An apple. An and apple. that's a good one to have. Yeah. yeah. Seven a day. That is a, good one. a bushel. 
Well, what's the chance, Nicole, of this all being adopted and being taken? I mean, we're talking about this today. Like, oh, imagine you've got to take seven portions of fruit and veg. Do you think within, you know, 20 years or so, this will be the norm? It'd be wonderful it is. I, we're not at the point where we're looking at changing guidelines because of this one study, but the message is just pack your plate with lots of added vegetables into your plate. Put it into the dishes, put it into the different meals, put it into the stews, into the casseroles. Then you've got your salads on the side. Is it still good in a casserole? If it's not good it's, in a smoothie, you, if it's been cooked you can to chop it up and, and put the onions in, the leeks in, carrots in, all of it adds up towards your fibre day and all of it will be useful. And vitamin supplements don't really count. So is that not they another way? They definitely don't work the same way. No. Like I said, it's, it's something to do with partly the chewing it, helping to keep you full, also the fibres in it. The processing it slows down the absorption of your blood sugar levels, keeps you full for longer. Okay. It's all got to come together. Okay. Can right. I change my mind and have yes. a mango instead? A ma yes, that's a bit exotic, one. that, isn't well, it? Well, that's, that's why I'm trying to get my point across. I want to be a bit more tropical. Have a bit of everything. Bit of a variety everything. Uh -huh. of all okay. of them is what brings it together. Uh -huh. And that's why we do want to get all the different colours and the. All the different a, a banana is hard to beat as well. It I is. don't like a banana. I like an orange, but an orange is messy. But a banana, I have to. Do you know this, boys? That a banana helps you sleep. Do you know? I that? do. Th did know that. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's fast food on well, the go, was, ready to go. It's, it has a soporific effect. At two o'clock this morning, I was like a chimpanzee. I was putting two bananas <laughs> into my mouth, hanging upside down, to try and get me. Ruth to sleep. was livid. Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, thank you very much You're indeed. Welcome. Now the boys have got a new album and they've got a new single out. Yep. Which is hence they're not here to talk nutrition. <laughs> you know they are. We're here to, oh, we're to dance we're away not. with. No, 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 no. Oh. We're going to um, to record. talk to them about uh, that, and we'll hear all the gossip from the Voice as well right after this short break. Don't go away.